Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. It's really good to have your company. Thank you for all jumping on so quickly. I've just been told off for having a messy desk. How are you gonna show them anything? I thought I'll work it out. I've um, got some fabulous dies here. In fact, probably one of my favorites since we started doing two Red Robins. Um, thank you for just jumping on everybody. It's good to see you. Um, I want to introduce you to some new characters. This is Captain, he's our cockerel. Um, he really is gonna be captain of this collection because these are exclusive to you as, so they're not on TV at the moment and it'll be a while before they are. So make the most of it. If you haven't seen these, they're gonna be a great addition to dies you've already got. So there's a couple of things that I'd like to do. I want to build some scenes, but I also want to show you how they mix and match with things that you already have. So this is a great way at making existing collections just come all the way back to life. So hang on just a second, let me just have a quick look at who's joining. Um, hi everybody, thank you. Thank you for joining, it's such a pleasure to have your company. Um, if you wanna put any questions down there, I'll get to them at the end and we'll answer those for you. So thank you so much. So I've got Captain the Cockerel, who comes with two dies. I've got my little chicks. Now you're going to get um, nine dies on this one, so or nine die cuts. It's got the three little chicks, the outline dies, and then three more of them, but a little bit smaller. Then we've got our feeder. This is called Bon Appetit. Oh, and by the way, these are Ditsy Dotty and Daisy. Oh, Dizzy Dotty and Daisy, that's it. These are, this is Bon Appetit. This is their food and their feeder. And this little collection are called Early Birds. Now these are ones that we're gonna use for silhouettes. They're so gonna get some great stuff with that. So the first thing that I thought I'd do is, we'll move some of this out the way. I'm not gonna let Andrew think he's winning, but it is a bit messy. <laughs> and I just want to bring in something that I had from an earlier collection. So I've got my milk churns, I've got my milk bottles, and I've also got a little bit of ivy that I'm just gonna let cascade down there. But I'd like you to see what happens if we use our cockerel up the top. And then let's put on, you know, I am getting more and more, so I cannot manage without my Craftmaster wallets. They've just become an absolute must have. But I want to show you these. You know, you saw the little chicks. Look at them. They're just adorable. And because there's loads of chickens. There's trillions of chicks too. So I'm just gonna have all of them all like walking around. So you can see how these, with some more little ones here, you could literally, you can fill your designs with these little chicks. He's jumped up there. Um, and th so I've got all of them all around and my cockerel at the top. I'm just gonna move the cockerel, so I'm gonna move Captain down here. And he's now, look, he's looking after all the little chickens and they're all together. Hello everybody. Sorry, I'm a bit excited because he is my favorite dye. If you look at him, the colors that he's got, his lovely feathers and all of his plumes are gonna look amazing. And just the way that you can bring all this together. And I've only picked a couple of the dies from previous collections. You can see that little pop of color. Look what happens when I take them away. So it's so much um, more subtle. And then I put him on and then I just fill around his feet with lots of his baby chicks. And they're all, there's loads of them and they're all literally, they're behind the milk bottles. They're running in and out. There's some of them are sitting down. They're like going in different directions. Um, let me see if I've got, so I've got some more in here. And these are all just our fabulous little chicks. So they're gonna be a great addition. And especially, don't forget, we've also, we've got Easter coming up not too soon as well. So these are just gonna be one of those fab little collections that are just great to have. And I love that you can get so many of them. So little tip, start off with some of them completely flat and then put some of them on one millimeter, some on two millimeter and some on four millimeter foam. So you get different heights for them. Tuck some of them behind. So 
it's quite a good idea to have a couple of them sort of like this so they're you know they, they look like they're round captain's feet so you've got them behind and in front you could take this little one and have him just literally sat down just there so we could even put one of them because this one's cheeky up here <laughs> So you just want them surrounded by chickens just to make it fun. So that's one idea for you. Then I'm just going to move all of this out of the way and I'm going to bring in a barn. Now, this barn's Bumblebee Barn. And again, another firm favourite. So let me move those out of the way. Now look at this. This is fabulous. So I'm going to lose the little chickens and put those, those little chicks to one side. And I've chosen a background. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping with us. If you've just joined, we're actually working on some web exclusives tonight. This is your chance to get hold of them before anybody else does. And you can find everything at highlightcrafts.com. So come and, come and join. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this design that I've got here. And this is really interesting. When I was planning this Facebook Live and I was looking at all the different elements and what I wanted to do, first of all, we've got so many backgrounds amongst the two Red Robin collections that are just super duper usable. And then don't forget your viewfinders because look at how that suddenly creates our scene. And I'm even, I'm going to move my cockerel, put him inside, and go to our larger chicks and put those to the front. So we've got, let's put another couple of these in. So we'll put another one there. And you can see how we're creating different looks and stories. Now, it's quite interesting because these, for those of you that don't know, I call our viewfinders. Some of you are actually using them for cards. I know Mel's shown you how to do um, a, a bow fronted card with it but I love the fact that you can move it round and choose where your design is going to be so if I wanted to I could put some of these little chicks just here so I've got a couple of them there and then when I bring the larger ones to the front I'm just going to move this back in a little bit so you can see it a bit better when I bring the larger ones to the front you can see how they look like they're in the distance and these look like they're to the front. And then if I get a little bit of greenery to go round the back of it, like that, we're starting to really build up the perspective on the design. Now, there's another couple of things in this collection that I haven't shown you. One of them's the, um, this is called Bon Appetit. So this is actually where they go for dinner. So I've got a lovely big feeder there that I could put with the little chicks, but I'm going to go in here and go all the way to this one, another one of these. And I'm going to look at how I can create this and make it more dimensional. So the first thing that I'm going to do is trim round and take out this bottom piece and I really want that part of it to be the dimension and I do need to take bits from the sides as well so I'm going to take that out and then with a little bit of shaping over your fingers so as you can see I'm shaping here this would then sit over the top but before I put that down and glued it in place, I would actually put some um, glaze or maybe some clear drops in here so that it looked like we'd got some water in there so they would be having a drink. Then the other thing that I'd like to show you is I'm just gonna trim off the bottom from here and I'm gonna take this one just across there and then, so now I've created like a water barrel. So all I can have things like my ivy coming out of the top. So I've created myself like a little um, container. 
And don't forget, once you've got a container like that, it lends itself perfectly to us putting in. So I'm going to move that out the way. Let's move the whole thing. Let's take our container, tuck our daffodils over the top. So we've got lots of them all growing there. Go back to our barn. Let's put our daffodils in our container. Our little chicks here and these little ones over out there in the distance so that we're creating the dimension that we love for our card making. So another way of using your Bon Appetit where they go for dinner. Then I want to show you something else. So um, I'm trying to stay tidy, but it's not possible. I'm just going to pop that back in there and pop you back in there on my, on my dimension. Right now, so I'm going to lift all this up. And when I was working with these viewfinders, oh gosh, I was, I, I've got some I can't manage without them. Because I got this circular um, one and I was looking at it and thinking, well, that barn looks great. But I wanted to use my um, bumblebee barn. So I actually thought if I go and I use this bumblebee barn and I put it about there, it now looks like this is a, a hillside and the trees are behind the hill. So I've created, and in fact, it's the roof. Look at this, that's actually the roof of the thing. But I've created almost like um, a, a hill. The foliage is at the top. I'm going to put the greenery, instead of coming around the card here, I'm gonna put the greenery going around this part of it. And I'm gonna put my little chicks here. And my cockerel just here. And we've started again to create another lot of dimension. And it's really interesting, when you look into the pictures, you can see so much more than you originally thought you could. So for me, having the cockerel and two different sizes of the little chicks is actually really important because it makes it so much easier for you to be able to create those layers and that perspective. Now, we're also, we're going to be working hard on proportion over the next few months. So bringing you things in lots of different sizes. We've had requests for things a bit smaller, so we'll be making sure that we do do that for you. Um, what I've got here in the background is I've got some sort of space and also I've got the opportunity to be able to put some extra things. So what I thought I'd do is I would have one of these on the top of my shed and make make it so that that's my, my weather vane. So I've got a little weather vane up on the top. I've got my cockerel at the front, my little chicks, which are adding the little bit of that, that little pop of color, which looks fab. And of course, we've got kernel as well. So another idea for you of another way of being able to build the designs. And think of all the other dies that we've got that these are going to work with. Imagine, I'm just going to move all of this and show you. Let's go back to one you've probably already got in your collection. And I'm going to go to the tractor. And just pull that tractor over the scene, as I've got here. I'm going to put my cockerel to the very front. Let's put lots of these little chicks around. So... They could all be here. And I'm going to put another little one up on the seat there. In fact, he can be driving. <laughs> and then I've got them all around here. We'll put another one up there because you can never have too many, can you? Um, let's put our, I'm just going to put these daffodils. No, I'm not. I'm not going to leave the daffodils out. Let's make this one for the guys. This is a happy Easter to dad. And we're just going to, from all his children, I don't think he knew he got this many, um, I'll put them all there. But you can see how we're bringing in other elements of it again and creating that look and feel. And just to show you how versatile it is, I'm going to put, and remember how we do this, if, you're, if you've built a scene and you love it, and take a picture of it so you can recreate it, take your piece of cardstock that you want to swap it out for, Slide it underneath the one that you've just done and then you 
slide this lot out like that. And that's how it works. I'm sort of quite proud of the way that went because it could have gone wrong. And you can see here how I can then choose where this goes to create my scene. But what I am loving, it absolutely loving, is my cockerel and my little chicks. So now I'm going to do away with everything that I've had before and let's just put these together in a picture. So I'm going to change card shapes and let's go to a square. So come out the way, little ones. They're so cute. They make an absolute noise and you know what, they make quite a mess as well. I always, um, I always wanted chickens but we've got dogs and so if anybody's got chickens will you tell me because i think chickens and having fresh eggs every day is just the best idea and oh and i was oh i so this week i bought um a cookery book and it's an old it's a very old cookery book so i actually bought it second hand and the new ones of it are like a ridiculous price so i found one second hand bought it and I was reading a section on how to, um, the best way of, of peeling a hard-boiled egg. And I did not know this, so you're probably going to go, of course, I, of course that's how you do it. But it said that as soon as you take the pan off the water, it's off the heat, so the water's still hot, crack the eggshell and then fill it with cold water. Because if you do that, the water then rushes in and separates the actual cooked egg from the shell inside. It's easier to peel. Now, I, I thought, well, that actually probably makes a lot of sense because in the past, sometimes you boil eggs and some of them peel easily and some of them don't. And occasionally, when you put them the pan down, they actually crack by themselves as you're cooling them. So that made sense to me because I thought, well, that's probably what I've been doing wrong. So that was one of the tips. And then there was, oh, there was another one. It was, if you wanted to, um, you see, I always end up talking about food, don't I? If you wanted to do a, that reminds me, oh, we had a work night out last night. It was really good. Um, we went and had, um, like, it's called Nepalese. It's like Indian, but it's very flavoursome. It was absolutely superb. So that was really, really good. But the other tip about the eggs was that if you freeze the egg whites, they actually make better meringues. I never knew that. So use frozen egg whites and you get better meringues. Absol I was like, whoa, why didn't I know that? Right, so here's our little chicks. So we've just got the chicken there in the background. I've chosen a background at random. In fact, I'm going to make it so that it's almost all just greenery and a little bit of shrubbery. Let's put, I've got this ivy, which I just love this dye because it's so easy to just frame bits of your cards with it. And there's a little bit of the framing. And then all we need again are trillions of chicks. And we'll put some up here. They can be on top of the feeder because I don't think they can fly, but I like the idea of there being loads and loads of them all around here. And it just makes a pretty card and it's super duper colourful. So love the idea that we've got all of these to look forward to and that they're not available anywhere else. Now I'm going to move all of this out of the way and I want to do one more scene for you that utilises the, um, the shadows. So I'm just going to pop those there and we're going to start here. And I've got my silhouettes. Now this pack oh, is got it's got so many different designs. I've actually got one. Well, I'll show you them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different dies in this set. All you've got lots of different sizes, which are really very useful. You could get um, their feeder. You could actually cut that in black card if you wanted to but I've just cut a ton of these so that I can make up a whole family and do it as a silhouette. So first of all, I've got my hen, so she's there. Don't forget with silhouettes, it's great because you can do them either way, so you can have two of them. But I'm gonna put that one there, so there's two hens chatting. 
Then we've got another little one. So they've come along to have a, a little chat. And I've got another one because you get lots of different kinds, don't you? You know, you've got some that are rare breeds, some of them, some of them that are, um, are um, specially coloured, you know. I actually once saw one that was dyed. You know, when we, we used to live in a, um, a little um, village in Malta and we would go to Victoria Sunday Market and it was a big treat when we were kids to do this. We'd go to the Sunday Market and they used to have little chicks and they were different colours and they would they put food dye on them. I think I don't think you're allowed to do that anymore. I think that might be cruel, but they used to do them and people used to buy them and of course they as they grew up and their feathers fell out, they became chickens and actually well they they were already chickens, but they became, you know, like um chick chickens and they um they what was I gonna tell you? Oh yeah, and they lost their feathers. So they became, you know, like ordinary ones. <laughs> okay. That was a load of rubbish, wasn't it? It's all right. It's all right. I don't I don't mind if you want to tell me it is. Um We'll have one up in the up in the branches. No, we won't because he looks weird. So I'm just gonna. So they've all turned up for a good old gossip, and here they are. So there's all our little chicks and our chickens, all there. Move you there so you can see it. Now the secret is to make sure that the heads are always, you can see the head and part of their feathers. Otherwise they do look strange and you just end up with a little black blob. But as long as you can do what I've done and get them into sort of like a little story so you can see all of the pictures, this is another really good way of creating your cards. Nice black frame round there and that's gonna look fabulous. I sort of lost the plot, I think, in this bit. Um, well, I've definitely not excelled myself, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I was trying to think of another one. I think I should quit while I'm ahead. See you all next week. Bye.